And then we're now we're ready for our first commit. I'm going to click on source and then I'm going to click new file. Now because of the peculiar nature of the Arduino IDE, we're going to have to create a folder called nano mouse and then we'll create a file called nano mouse dot ino. This will make it so that when you download this uh, repository you can simply click on the file and it will open up and work normally. Once you've done this move the window to the side so that you can see your Arduino code at the same time. Then just copy all of your code so I'm doing control A, control C, or on a Mac, command A, command C, and then pasting it here with command or control V. Once that's done, you can maximize the window again. And if you scroll down, you'll see a button that says commit. Here you're going to want to type a message that indicates what you have done. And so I'm going to write uh, code to control and LED and commit. Now if you click on commit you can see different versions of your code. Right now it's not very impressive or entirely intuitive. Here's the first thing I did which is create the repository and then you edited the readme and then you added code to control an LED. If we click on this commit, you can see the code you added. To download your code, simply click on downloads and download repository. Once it's downloaded, you can simply double click on it, double click on it again, and inside you will see the NanoMouse folder and the NanoMouse program, which you should be able to open without any problems.